again, once again, uh, looking at the week ahead of us and the data that we are coming into, as well as we've already worked through um, uh, quite a few of these earnings um, charts to, to look for some decent ones for the, and, and we found a couple, they weren't, they weren't Tesla, mm -hmm. right? They weren't, you know, some of these clear Tesla or, or clear empty space setups. But um, that being said, um, we'll finish that in just a moment. We'll, we'll go ahead and chart Thursdays. Uh, I think we made it to Wednesday afternoon. We'll go ahead and do Thursday, Friday, um, but not before we obviously take a look at the data. So, you know, quick glance. That's what our chart looks like. We're underneath seller control. And we take a look over here, right? What is, where is, who is the catalyst or the gasoline that'll keep us fueled to the downside, which is absolutely a probability now, um, especially after what we talked about this morning, that empty space, you know, being popping up and then getting pulled back down, you know, where we close really, really matters here. Um, so Monday factory orders, loan officer survey, not high impact data, typically not relevant, right? Tuesday though at 10 a.m. and then obviously all day, I'm going to, uh, I've been teaching myself caving and I will be in a hole in the ground <laughs> hiding from everybody. Um, but I do expect that, <laughs> if I don't remember correct, I mean, again, four years ago, um, I remember a, a, a quite a bit of volatility, um, but I also remember quite a bit of chop as well, right? Where you're don't quite know, we're counting numbers and it is very reactionary. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that this is possibly the fuel for this punch down or pulled underneath here, right? And retest. And of course, they're going to narrate it that way. But this seems extremely obvious, right? Is it confirmed? Unfortunately <laughs> not, right? That's something that we'd have to go here to the four hour and decide whether or not this is a good bet. We didn't look forward to Wednesday, right? Nothing, not really anything there. So we're running off of hopefully Tuesday, which we won't have all the count, you know, again, they're going to, it's going to be run off or whatever, but, um, November 7th, unemployment claims coming in. Uh, I trade grass. I do trade grass. Um, uh, unemployment claims coming in at eight 30, then a bunch of hot dog water all the way until two o'clock where we get Papa coming forth. And, uh, we got federal fund rates. Uh, we got FOMC statement, FOMC press conference. Friday, nothing really exciting. Obviously, this is coming in at 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for tapping your screen. Appreciate it. Getting stuffy here. But what the... Every time I talk. All right. So the week ahead appears to potentially provide some fuel, right? This... Again, I'm just going to focus on price. This is a lot to think about, right? Don't start, uh, uh, no, price, price first. So whether that means, and, and I think there's a good opportunity for both, right? <laughs> Jokingly, right? Kamala, you know, <laughs> and apparently according to everybody else, Trump, <laughs> but um, we do have triggers both to the upside, right? And so while that 24 hour candle is closed under, and this is important again, under, and this goes for a lot of different other ETFs, the wall, it is not out of the question that we still pop up, fill the empty space, fill the gap, and then we'd make a decision from there, right? I would say 579.86 candle close is a good chance that we're moving on. Um, so good, good space, I think, for speculation, um, for sure. But obviously, um, if you want a for sure trade, 
waiting until Monday is not a terrible, uh, terrible idea. So um, again, opening up or being in empty space is where we can grab those shorter expiration contracts, those swings over the weekend with those cheap out of the money contracts. But if it is not clear or it takes deliberation, it's best to wait. Um, oh, man. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, let's see. Yeah, if you guys do have requests, you can start dropping those in the uh, chat now. Don't wait till the end of the day. All right, QQQ. Again, another stock or another ETF sitting in that deliberation zone. Are we underneath where we see sellers control the price? Yes. Did we go up and retest? Some, not all, but most of that empty space above us. Yes, right? There's a little bit up here, but that's all the way to 573. Um, so Qs, same as the SPY, exact same. This, in my opinion, has far more, far more empty space down to, and this is where the big quote unquote, cr not a crash, but a big dump, right? where people are really going to realize that we're we're breaking down. And that's obviously underneath 480.335. We're not there yet, which would also coincide with the wall that we broke out from. Whenever you break something, you don't want to re-enter it. So this triggered down, and then this pocket right in here is where I think the most money will be made. I think we'll see a little bit of a stagger in this space because that is a target. But ultimately this, and this is where, listen, I'm going to say this now, write it down, whatever you need to do. This area, 300 contracts if they're underneath $10. I'm hammering that. That's where empty space, out of the money, low risk, high reward, all the way to the target, let some runners run, go down here, you can see where that target is, right? 461. Just something, again, in the future to be looking for. Um, pull for it? That's not, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm never going to pull for it. Pull for anything. Uh, but, you know. Maybe like, maybe like an eighth of a port. Quarter port? Oh, I don't know. About 301. Yeah, we're not the, even close to that trigger yet, but all right. We can skyrocket from here. You know, that's also a... a uh, a thing. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't hear you say triggers. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, triggers. They matter. Um, yeah. Right now we are. Trigger happy. We're we're right. We're we are really close. You know what I mean? And it's it's right now. It's like it, it's tough. But if you're disappointed, you know you can still feel that and not do anything if it doesn't make sense to you. But we're in a space where we have we still have empty space. Right, we're wick to wick right here at four ninety eighty, but you still have here and just up to five or four uh, ninety five fifty. So I think there is time to enter that leg down, and it all makes sense, right? It, we we see the the co uh, cohesion or the the confluence between the two um, with the channel and the, the the pocket underneath us. So um, yeah, and and you draw this back even further and give it its structure, you know, it makes a lot of sense that 553.75 would be. Yes, this is being recorded, will be put on YouTube. If you guys are on here, tap your screen. Appreciate you. All right, um, so that's the cues. And uh, again, if you're trying to make a huge investment into something, you know, consider, uh, what needs to be broken and whether or not that's going to be best done next week. All right. So IWM 24 hour. Once again, another stock. Now all three of these doing the same exact thing, being in the same exact triggers. And I, I know some people think I'm getting, and I, you know, today I said, you know, there's, I've got a attachment issue. There's no reason that I, I mean, I made money. I, 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 I'm not complaining. Yesterday, I made a lot of money on IWM to the downside. 
Um, and then obviously today we saw a bounce and, and, and retest to the upside. Uh, it didn't quite work out. But down here, SPY, eh, whatever. This, that, that's high reward. Four hour. So if you have the money to speculate, if you have, can put some expiration on something like this, by all means. Dude. Let's get it, dude. I love that guy. Um, so that's it. I I, uh, I guess if to for all three, right, a, a synopsis would be we are very close and should be ready to take positions down, right, because we're right there on that trigger. Or if we start a grind back up, there is on all three of them availability to move into highs, break their downtrends. And we are, whether bears like it or not, very much still in an uptrend. So, chill out. Chill the fuck out. Nice job, Chris. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't buy and like sell stocks like that. Um, I do options, but all good. All right. IWM, SPY, QQQ, you got it. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish up these earnings. So Ivy obviously is going to be dropping these in my channel. So if you are in the Discord, you'll have access to all of that. Um, Potter Stocks channel down below. All right. First one, VST, and I'm going to move quickly. Doesn't look good. I got to go. All right. Clear, empty space, down to potentially 114, 150. Is that a good risk to reward? Eh. How are the contracts? Yeah, no. Okay, moving on. So VST is off of the board. Again, low risk, high reward only. 24 hour. Uh... How does it been responding to earnings? Earnings. Well, that was one hell of a response. Owie. Let's go to the weekly, monthly. Okay. So let's remember these levels because monthly is where you're going to get the for sure you will touch, it will tap. Uh, 32, 30, uh, 60, <laughs> dyslexia, 63, 30. Directly to the upside is a large area for a potential retest, although there's a lot of empty space down here below us. Big fat gap up here, right? That's not empty. It's considered empty space, but it's not what I call empty space. So weekly, right? Gaps in, in, in empty space, you know, this is also empty space, but this would also be empty space. So it can be done with regular price or uh, earnings. Um, so looking at it here, it seems like this week we tried to pop up and hit that 5727 to recover this floor, right, right here. So you see that wick all beautifully mechanical underneath you 4610, right? It's still a target to the downside. So 24 hours. It'd be interesting to see how or what this does going into the next week. You have a trigger with plenty of empty space directly above you, and you know, you guessed it, cost basis is tapped, empty space above, right? 63.61. There's that same price, right? So on earnings, at, at the best case scenario here, $63. Is mRNA worth, or is that good risk to reward? Contracts have to be cheap, and no, moving on. Disappointing. I'm not doing gold, sorry. Data dog. What's going on, everybody? Data dog, weekly, monthly. Monthly box. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, well that doesn't really do me much good, so we'll go to the weekly now. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I the, the only thing that I see here potentially is that, which is at its end, is you are dealing with that. So you are quite literally. It it doesn't. It definitely has enough tension to suspect or to look for a potential gnarly leg down. And I know Data Dog has its moments where it does respond on earnings, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all of my analysis is posted in my channel, so. Contracts are low pricing. Yeah, data dog usually is. Um, maybe a leg down to 8420. What do those look like? Will you tell me? Uh, you want signals? Signal. Yeah, I want signals. Uh, huge spread. <laughs> huge spread. Course. Okay, yeah. All right, again, I, and this is good, right? Even though it's disappointing that we find something or uh, it's good that we don't react, right? This is what's going to keep us from, oh, wrong one. I'm in Hindustan. The spread's really weird on the downside of nope. the dog. Nope. Chart doesn't look good. MPW, I've never, I think I've never heard of that one. Although I said that earlier and I had a whole chart on another stock. It's like, I don't know what that is. Mm, I don't know. He tapped the floor. He failed. He got a punch back. Nah, okay, moving on. Uh, CCJ, I think that's worth a look. Let's see how the chart looks. Ooh, ooh, okay, hold on. Uh, what are 43s? Go look at CCJ. Now, again, this is going into next week, so it doesn't mean that we have to take it this, this you know, today, because we don't want to have these. If they were pricey at all, so to the downside, 43 bucks is, damn, yeah. not bad. 11 bucks. They're not bad. Not bad. That's not bad. And we have a trigger here. Mm, I mean, that's pretty clear. Right? You're bouncing off of it, so you would have you would have to take a straight fucking shot up. Um Let's see. So for two hundred and I don't know. 300 bucks, I could get 25 contracts. Oh shit, I'm about to take this on the fucking small account. <laughs> oh shit. As, <clears throat> it has earnings next week. Yeah, that's why I'm looking at it. That's what we're doing, dude. <laughs> dude, I could get five. Oh, yeah, I, sorry. Get five. I, get I five. got it late. I didn't know you guys were looking for earnings, so. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Uh, Sixty bucks gets you five contracts, and we'll see if we can't fill into some more to next week. I like this one, CCJ. What, what contract did you say? All right, I'm gonna. Ivy's gonna post this in the chat, guys. I got forty-three puts on CCJ. Now I am gonna look really quickly for upside. So theoretically, if we were to, or we're at all time highs. So let's see if I can find a channel or something of that nature. Although looking at that weekly, man, I tell you what, it looks pretty good. Um, so are you underneath this? Yes, you are. Are you underneath that? Yep, you're right there. So definitely seems like a probable area, but we got to do this. Sideways is the only other diagnostic or diagnosis, excuse me, that I could give to this is you go sideways here. So low risk, high reward. I'll take my shot on it. Um, the IV, what? You got the wrong chart, dude. The IV on these is, is not. 
Yeah. You said 987%. It's 83% for next week. Yeah, oh. yeah. And, and they might rise in value. So if we uh, go into earnings, hopefully we... Uh... Oh, damn. White light. Nice job. <clears throat> for next week, guys. Which which contracts were you looking at? Y'all are one. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, did which you one? post them? Ivy should have, or I think Ivy's supposed to. Let's see. That's what we, yeah, right. Yeah, don't look for today. Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, that's not going to work out. All right, moving on. We're... If anybody has a question on that, answer it for me. Um, Hershey, maybe. Oh, yeah, I caught Hershey's on earnings, uh, but it didn't move until the following day. That was fun. That was a good ass trade. I, I, Kate, I think you took that with me. I can't remember who took that with me. Oh, Which one? What are you talking about? Hershey's. It wasn't me. Wasn't me. Uh, 170. He's a damn lie. He did take it with you. I'm almost positive he did. He's just being a little shit. Um, I mean, I see 171. We took it the day after earnings, and it shot up. And we were you took like, it on Robin Hood. Go to Robin Hood, see your history. And oh, I mean, all right. You're talking about in the past, not now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I definitely took it. Oh, another life. Anyway, 171. I don't know if that's going to be a good risk to reward being at the end of the fucking week, but let's see who the contracts are. Mm -hmm. 171. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Moving on. All right. Uh,. Where are we at? Hershey's Geo Group. That's a that's a Michael Burry. Everybody goes to jail and they make money off of his stock. Jail. America should take a short position out on this whole stuff. Beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, that's a no. All right, moving on. DraftKings, DKNG. Hmm. Now that. Nope. Okay, so this is actually, I mean, kind of an interesting chart. You have two attempts to go up there, you fail. And it seems like this floor right here, do you notice that there is a area of consolidation around that floor? Go to the weekly. Box it up. Yatso. Right? It's a punch down. And... <clears throat> Tell you what, man, that looks it's a strong downtrend right there. Get tight up on that or on the wick. It's on there. Um, I mean this floor and that target, I think DK and G is typically not that expensive for earnings. How are they doing? Although <laughs> and I hardly ever factor in um earnings but dude i feel like sports betting has just been everywhere everybody's betting on everything i always see commercials of post malone marketing it yeah they yeah. gotta have good earnings bro because i've been losing so much fucking money now i'm oh, sorry tiktok <laughs> <laughs> so much stinking money so much money The chart doesn't want it, dude. Bounce, curl, maybe you pop out. I don't know, dude. 
It's honestly not pulling. You know what I do see though? I see some shitty pullbacks. One, two, three, four, five weekly candles hardly losing anything at all. So I mean, at the same time, right? The selling pressure is whack. And hardly is getting anything done. So this could be a double-sided trade for sure. Donovan Mitchell, if you see this, you oh my god, D man. <laughs> What's that from? Is that a movie quote or you really uh, getting it off your chest here? He sold my parlay, bro, by half a point, man. It yeah, was, he definitely took the over. It freaking killed me. Yeah, bro, 24 and a half. He got 24, man. Fuck it. Damn, dude. I did that same bet that day. Oh, that's weird. All right. A net. Nope. Maybe in here, 345. I don't know if, uh, how those contracts. I don't like when I, I just don't feel it. Tesla, I felt it. I knew it. I taste it. Oh my God, those are expensive. 358. Yeah, no, not happening. All right, almost done, guys. Uh, SQ. Um, I'll answer all those questions, guys, as soon as um, I'm done with this. This is all being recorded. I am scanning earnings to look for high profit. I'm take, trying to take $500 to fucking 50000 I, I don't give a shit. Um, but we're, I, I'm trying to flip this small account into something sizable with a, with a couple of good earnings trades. So, um, holding them all the way to the dang target type, type shit, type shit, right? Type shit. Uh, Maybe, maybe 88. But my, and I don't see empty space, I, nothing like that. But if we're looking at a mouth type price action move here and a new high type action move here, right? It looks like it's possible to get up and out of here. And I think like that pullback and bounce off that floor is pretty important. When I look at the 24 hour, right, you're building a box. So next week, if you could pull back, bounce, then you would have something to curl back over and actually punch over, right? So IE. And then we slip. And I know that earnings is hit or miss for uh, SQ. So, mm, again, I'm using the mo most amount of like scrutiny with these setups because I am trying to operate with very little. So, next week's contracts are already up on IV. I suspect these are going to climb, um, but it's pulling back. So I say 90-ish area. How much are 90s? 90s are only 24 cents, but I feel like if I wait till next week, I could get them a little bit cheaper. I think if I, I wait till Monday, because this looks like it's going to pull back. 
if earnings are good, do stocks get massive gains? Yes, if earnings, uh, well, that's the goal, is that they could get massive gains or massive losses. Either way, I can make money. The, the set, there's, a, again, a list of, of checkoffs that have to, or a, a, a checklist <laughs> uh, that, that you have to go through in order to come to a conclusion on whether or not the actual setup that you're looking for is ac something that is worth it. With Tesla, there was a good reason why I did what I did, right? We're sitting too many con like this is a perfect storm. And is it worth waiting or looking for these? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, duh. One, two, right? Then we had several triggers. Our first target is here at the bottom of that box. Second one there, new high. You shot out, pulled back. And today you bounced off of that 245, but that had a clear empty space to target one, a punch back, and then obviously two punch backs, which both promised new highs and it was a squeeze at the same time. So it's really being picky. Being picky is, is helps being profitable, picky, profitable. Have y'all been seeing that Jameis Winston core? That shit is so funny. I don't know if anybody knows who that is, the Browns quarterback. I only know about him because he played with the Saints. All right. Last one, or last couple of ones, excuse me, Rivian, which is one of the best EV makers out there, you know. So, got to do If not, the best. Probably the best. Probably. I... I don't think anybody else will be able to compete. They're going to go to there's, this other, there's this other shitty one called um, Tiasla. Uh, Tos, Tos, Tosler. It's hard to Tosser. remember. Yeah. Yeah. I heard they made uh, fake semi trucks and rolled them down a hill or something like that. I heard that yeah, they made a car that's based on, on Minecraft. Astro, do you hear Astro? <laughs> He's sharpening a blade. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I li that's literally I literally hear a blade being sharpened right now. That's pretty scary, dude. Um, what an interesting chart. Oh, that sounds like bullets. Nope. I'm just gonna hear one cough. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I why are your why is your oh he can't talk. He's just letting us know that he knows. Yeah, Jameis is a national treasure. He says something about like, we got to do it for our names on our helmets. Wait, we don't have decals, but <laughs> it's like, oh, no. Um, I do see empty space at the 13 and then obviously a punch down to eight. I don't know if that really fits the script as far as cheapness. If it's really cheap right now, I might lock into something. All right, I'm trying to hurry up so we can get, take a look. At, and and by the way, guys, if I did your request this morning and it really hasn't moved, then the analysis is the same. And, you know, go through the Potterbox channel, you'll find it. So, uh, cheap. Eight, I mean, it, they're cheap ish. They could get cheaper. They could get cheaper. I think this might leg down. Might leg down. Oh, I'll hold off on that one. Oh, I'll hold off on that one. Uh, it's not the best one in the world. All right, Unity Software. There's probably a better one out there. Unity. Ah, uh, our old friend. Our old pal. I gotta. Rem I don't know why I didn't uh, put this one in the Punchback channel. I should do that. Perfect. Beautiful. Punch back. CCJ actually went down to 14 cents. You said Juicy J? CCJ. <laughs> oh. And it's more expensive. I guess the IV starting to pump. Sorry. I'll tell you some contracts if you want it. You want some? Oh, thank you. Please. <laughs> UPS them to me. There you go. Yo, by the way, 
I did. I found an expired option contract with my kid's candy last night. It was in the money too. As soon as he That's touched crazy. it, dude, he was in debt. I had to pay for a hundred shares. It was a Ford too. How bad is that? Horrible. Expired in the money Ford contracts. The premium oh, hardly. <laughs> I also found uh, forex courses inside of one of their candy bars. That was really scary. Really scary. Um, interesting setup. <laughs> Doesn't have empty space, which is a bummer, right? Because above, I mean, if I'm looking at this, it, it does have a target, which is going to be right here at 2584. And it looks like it could spring load itself and pop right up there and hit it. At the same time, it's got empty space to the downside, has recovered nothing. Here's your floor. Look at the wick tapping that other green candle. And so like a lot of other stocks, is on the precipice once again to potentially pull back to 18. So I don't know if the risk to reward fits that, um, but I tell you what, this could be, if it does pull back and bounce here, that could create a nice uptrend. So uh, 24 hour. I mean, it has the flag go. I mean, I will say that, right? It does have the pop, pop, and then, yeah, that would be my first target. And I guess what I could do is just go ahead and do this. Bam. Right? Bring that down. Ooh, come here. Let me take a look at these contracts real quick. Like, we're almost done. Options. Uh, 25s are uh, they could be cheaper they're only 30 bucks that's a main account play for sure but downside is 18 and then yeah 18 some change so those are about the same price so I think I'll I'll, I'll hang out uh, I'm looking for swing trades right now dude <laughs> if that's what you want to do um yeah all right last uh we're, we're i'm looking for earnings right now ttd all right let's hurry up and r run through these ttd good setup uh empty space down to 112.15 possibly how are those contracts looking yeah I'm just going to skip that one. It's not very good. Also, how's earnings? Eh. Eh. Had a really good earnings here. Really good earnings there. But when it's up at the top like that, so yeah, definitely a possible 108 pullback, but I don't know. Yeah, you have to check out what I'm doing, Stocks Talk. Shoot me a DM in the Discord, bro. All right, affirm. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know if you're going to catch me in that one, but I tell you what, it does have a shit ton of empty space and it reminds me a lot of Carvana in that way where Carvana, and again, two different sectors, two different things, but Carvana has and had that same absolute shit the bed type energy. And this thing has made an extended effort to not lose ground. Um, I'd be interesting to it'd be interesting to see what the quantitative data is and you know where money money is moving within this. But I think one of the main things here is that you were pulled back underneath forty five. It'd be cool if you could make an effort to pop outside of that. But I I hate it because it's just so yucky. Punch down. I'm working on it, guys. I'd say 62 at best, but again, just kind of an ugly setup. Weekly, what's the weekly look like? So the weekly makes it a little bit more clear, or the monthly, excuse me. Wall, wall, right? Structure. So, I mean, honestly, y'all, Oh man, why did I just my whole body just got the tingles? 
What was that? God? Why does it smell like toast? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just joking. Um, pop, pop. I don't know, dude. Get out of here, dude. Uh, I don't know, man. I might have to. Uh, I'll look into that one, I think, going into next week. We'll write this one down. A firm gets a right. A firm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Allahu Akbar. Who should we ask? Allahu Akbar. Yeah, that was a no. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll wait till next week. That's what I heard. All right. Uh, <laughs> said to check. Affirm. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the galaxy. What the fuck? <laughs> Pinterest. All right. I think we can wait on the rest of these. Pinterest. Yeah, no. Empty space. Yeah, we'll look at the rest of the. I think we'll go and look at the rest of these. Um, so we can go ahead and finish up looking at charts. If you have anything you want me to take a look at in the Discord, open it up now. And Peloton, Peloton, big whack down weekly. Yucky. What is this? Oh, get out of here. Weekly, you have, or rather are, still well above this mark right here, 684. So that stands as a potential retest level, which you look like you're coming back down to pretty quickly. Um, so looking at this now, 686, right? Uh, you're free falling. Free falling. Yeah, I, I see a complete reversal down there. So watch for a touch, 684. Chegg shorts. TCJ $43 puts um, that I'm swinging into next week, but I'm doing this on the $500 account right now, guys. Um, I just had this whole discussion with the, the Discord, and we'll talk about it once the uh, after hours, 4 o'clock. Um, but there is reason to wait. Now, if you want to take speculative trades, there are triggers on both sides, both up and down. But one to send us up, and we squeeze. One <laughs> literally bounced off of it today. Today, we bounced off of our trigger that can potentially drive us down for the next couple, this next whole week, the first part of November could get nasty. And I suspect it could. Clip that. Clip that chat. I think on where we starting to like shorting the market. All right. Uh, we're sitting on the 563. And I mean, again, like most stocks, this shit's not looking good at the moment. Four hour building a box. So while this is made a new low, right? It's deliberating on how it's going to hold this floor. And it seems like every time, or as it's holding this floor, overhead pressure is still pushing this down, but not enough to drive it underneath 563. So you would be waiting, I would be waiting above 582 to maybe go and retest, which it is possible, 596. Now, at the moment though, I, I think that 555 being on this floor, breaking down or gapping down below it, you break this floor and there's a straight shot target of 544.50, the precipice. Thank you guys for tapping your screen. Damn, dude. Thank you for the fucking. Yeah, whoever taps the screen the most gets a shout out by Stelio. Yeah, Stelio, where, uh, he'll SMR your name or uh, yeah, whatever. 
it's called. Next one sends a galaxy, gets a special pick from Gator. Oh, God, no. It's a surprise pick. pick. And you want that pick. I'm on a TikTok right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it Tap, 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 tap. Ban, ban, ban. ban. I'm bad, ban, ban. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lily, not good. Lily's sick. Lily needs some medicine. Good thing it's a biopharmaceutical company. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. That's a uh, that's an interesting looking uh, setup you got here. Weekly shows you're bouncing and have pulled yourself out of the seven ninety two thirty three level. Let's go here. So now we move over here and I can see a small area of consolidation and that's a box just down there, but we'll, we'll leave that alone, right? Four hour. All right, so this is where you get a chance to make a definitive statement. Under 814.55, the wick, 50% of it at five or 791. Right, that would be first. Above 580.162, retest of 565.32, and if it breaks, back up to 890. Am I saying five? I'm sorry, 863 dyslexia, 880, 890 would be the next target. Up above Words, are Words are hard. Words are hard. Do you know Cade? What are you talking about? Kyler Roberts, is that your dad? Is your son named Kyler, Cade? You have a son named Kyler. You have a brother yeah, name? I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. My son's name's Kyler. Why is he on my stream right now watching me? <laughs> is he? <laughs> He's pulling my leg, dude. Is he the one saying he could beat everybody in Call of Duty? Oh, oh yes, the one dude. He's hunting his prey. That, that'll get him going. We'll uh, find out okay. if it's him or not. Oh, we're going to go at it. Uh, there okay. my, my <laughs> All right. Anyway, Lily. Gator, look at that SPX, brother. Okay. You, guys, you guys. You know it, man. You know it. Nasty, nasty time. I slapped this boy all week. Damn. Maybe maybe just call it man for now. Yeah, yeah. Where's the word? But yo, Dollar General, even though it is hot dog water, kind of looks like it wants to go back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, yo, 8250, and I would be taking my shot up here to 85, and then obviously trying to let it go into that 87. Yeah. Is everyone playing COD later? Uh, we're playing. We're, yo, I'll give yeah, you another galaxy for fun. a bomb trade idea. Yeah. <laughs> trade ideas for gifts. Um, if I find one man, I'll, I'll let you know, dude. But if, if I, uh, I mean, if you listen, you know, you might find one that's right for you, but. Damn, Airbnb. Airbnb. Hmm. If we're gonna play Call of Duty, we gotta do it right after the bell, dude. Cause oh my nut. Jesus Christ. Empty space one forty four on Airbnb to the upside. You have bounced off a structure underneath you and made a concerted effort to hold your floor at one thirty four. So while this candle, we're gonna open up another candle here. I would place price targets on this for a potential straddle at <laughs> 
Mm, it's going to be a tough one here. Fire off, shoot up. 146. So 146, 145 to the upside. To the downside, I think it's 122. And then I think you tap, I think in after hours, you tap 119. So. I'll call my dad right now. You know, it'd be hilarious if Cade just made another profile and he's pretending to be his own son right now. <laughs> I love you, son. Love you too, dad. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Check Steve's post. I see Steve's post, dude. Jesus Christ. Man. That's uh that's a lot of bags. All right, Airbnb. Uh Pax C B. What the fuck is this? California empty space. I mean, damn. Weekly. Damn. Kid oh, sorry. Dang. Okay, did you tell him about your BBC? Keep that that's disclosed. That's wild. All right. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> two fifty <laughs> is the what, what I appears to be resistance here or potential resistance here, but otherwise you are outside of the box. So the other only other diagnosis is if you take this now, maybe you have a hedge, but ultimately the first target on the twenty four hour was three fifteen. On the weekly, okay, here we go. Going back later a little bit. There you go. That's what you need to recover. 320, and I mean, F that, go here, four. And then you can start breaking that down from there, but that's it. Uh, Roku, thank you, Riley, for posting your chart. You yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Cost basis. Box. Weekly cost basis bounce. The top of this area is here. Uh, I mean, I think that's a big bounce, right? It leaves empty space. And just as anything else, right, we're going to drop a line at where you broke out originally, which is 6650. So the rules still apply. If you want to take this long, which empty, yo, listen to guys, if you've had a rough couple of weeks, like, you know, you look at the way the stocks have been trading in these ranges, and now that they've made big moves down, and we don't have confirmation, if we do start moving back up, right, maybe we move down even more, but if we, when we start moving back up, the money's there. The money's there. Uh, anyway, the target would be, first target would be 70, 40, and third target would be, or second, yeah, uh, third target would be 73, 60. Dell has a target still of around 136.13, closed up against that. A second target is going to be cost basis at 141. Comment whatever you guys are watching on TikTok too. I'm trying to get there. Um, Dell, I already did Dell. Yeah, is not a stock. MSTR. Ugh, gross. You... Got what I need. Ugh, gross. I mean, yes, uh, but I think would this really gets red or really, really becomes a short play under two twenty three thirty? Who do you have winning the election? Oh, do you want to think about it? Do you stress me out? Or hey, boom, boom. I'm voting, I'm voting for Vermin Supreme. Free unicorns for everybody. Hey, who's leading the, uh, the, the tap competition so I know where to send the, the fix to? The tap competition. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the tap's the most guys. We've got three minutes to tap those screens now. Special pick from Gator. Oh, my God. Wow, tap, they're, tap, they're, tap. they're tapping, dude. I missed out on this. I need more fingers. 
No, you just have to like articulate your hands just right. Just use fingers, use toes. Or in your finger. Pretend like you're playing a guitar. 24540 on Tesla to the downside. And that's where you can take this short. Pretty easy. Um, yep, yep. Toast. Nice. Toasty. Floor. 3365. I've been seeing toast more and more everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Candle close outside of 3066. So, yeah, it doesn't look bad. They have earnings Thursday, too. Do they really? Okay, then yeah. Yeah, that it might could be, be a catalyst. Yeah, it could be a catalyst to keep you going outside of that. So all right. Um I O and Q. <laughs> I don't want to chart these anymore. Oh damn. When did I say that? Man, the candle it. the candle closed at cost space, just tapped the wall and then got yanked out. And back down to where it broke out in the first place, too. So, yeah, this looks like it could go down much further. That, dang. How much are those contracts? Oh, it's too late. I own. Eleven fifties. Eleven fifties. Just gonna grab them. Oh shit! Too much. Got fat fingers. Go. Well, I got filled. All right, I grabbed a few puts on IO and Q. Has earnings next week? Oh, I fucked up. Uh, it's on the small account, so perfect. That's exactly what I meant to do. Uh, I did check that earlier. I must not have liked it. Sometimes you gotta give something a second pass. That was Peyton. Yes, she, didn't, she didn't like me at first. Or the second time. Or the, really for a couple of years. Uh, I'm not even sure she likes me at all. So, uh, <laughs> she loves you. I just asked her that earlier. I said, You like me? I was like, Yeah. I was like, So you don't love me? Okay. Just stormed out of the room. I like doing dramatic sometimes. All right. So let's see how to IWM weekly. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to do something. Don't tell your parents. Actually, never mind. It sounded terrible. You can't do that on the internet anymore. Um, I need for my equity a hedge over the weekend. Two hundred dollars and two oh nine. Um listen, with the election coming up, there are obviously things that can happen. So giving yourself just a couple maybe a week or two, um two hundreds. I'm actually gonna take this on both my account. Um and the small account, I know 200 is here, right? Um, so you can go with some, what the fuck is that? Uh, two tens, right? Um, let's see here. And 10 days away is really the only ones that I see. So two tens are pretty expensive, but on my main account, obviously it's not an issue for me to grab a couple of them. For Monday? No, for uh, these are November 11th, IWM. So what I'm doing right now okay. is it, this is like an equity protection. You know, I have a couple of positions going both ways. I'm just going to grab this because I've, I can afford it. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. I can, if you can afford this, we're right here. And it would be nice to be in position while I add to this underneath 216. I want this whole enchilada, at least most, the majority of it, right? So first target's 212.50. We're sitting on that trigger now. Um, and if we end up popping up, popping out, this is not like a main position type shit. This is a, it, so again, small accounts. <laughs> I'm saying it's speculative. And there's obviously opportunity to go ahead and add to this next week. But underneath 217.50, 
And then obviously underneath 215, this play really, really opens up a lot. Um, so I, I like I like all all markets, Q's, right, SPY, all of them are set up the exact same way. It's not a devastating pullback, and I don't think it's going to last forever. Um, but there are signs here that are being flashed. Yeah, the Q's actually have a nice little hourly box out down here. Uh, so underneath 485.33 next week. So if you want to wait, that's fine. Coney 2020-12, or 2020-24. That's fucking hilarious. All right. D. Peter, who won? You were, you were looking at the 200s for November 11th? Yeah. Um, 210s. Two, well, sorry, yeah, 210s. I mean, you could go, depending on how fast this goes. Is something maybe even do 14 but but yeah and and again i'm going to add to this and i will be trading that iwm pocket i'll add to it so there will be opportunity you don't feel like you're going to miss it unless it happens overnight and we all do but that's okay do you put a, what do you mean no nope I don't do that, uh, especially if, uh, if you're talking about signals, cold blood. No, not at all. Never. You, Our brains aren't designed to have an opportunity to have it easy and then also being asked to put in work to educate yourself and do this on your own. We are strictly here. I am here to share my strategy, which is has one of the best edges in the market fuck ict fuck smci what all the other garbage um and all that other zoomed in doo-doo water stuff like these quick scalps and stuff like that that's an easy way to get subscriptions and stuff like that I, that's not what i'm here to do um and i've said this before my my business model is actually counterproductive independent traders people who can learn my strategy and leave or afford to stay and not have to pay again so it's uh real important to me um that i i'm not trying to get and it's funny too because like you type out a, a signal in a chat and it's like if you're saying this over this like okay right especially if people understand your strategy but if you're just saying buy this now and it's a scalp i i can't i can know a lot of you guys have in, in here have experienced that where you'll see a signal, you'll go to hit buy, and as somebody else is up 100% or 50 or 60%, it's not even worth your time. You know, it goes too fast. So, have I ever had my options assigned? Only a couple of times, but yeah. Plug power. That's the most notable one. So, Danimal, your your question is, how did I arrive at the two tens? So, what is, or what are we trying to take advantage of here, folks? Why do we like empty space? This is a good reminding lesson. Why am I so geeked up about this? And why does that allow me to play out of the money? Anybody? We like to be filled up. That's crazy. All right. The empty space. I mean, sorry to talk. Some words there, but price moves through it easily. There you go. Just that easy, right? There's no resistance. There's no resistance. So what this allows for me to do is to play. What are people doing as it's moving fast? They're rushing to buy in. The cost or the IV of those contracts increases and spreads out to strikes unrealistic right maybe for them so when i look at the first bit of structure right go to the four hour where does it end here right maybe maybe at 210 actually if if i'm i missed that look at the points of contact off the top of that red candle right so to 1050 under this with only the 50% mark, which is 213. So you're either 
applying two tens and two thirteen hits and you trim and you bounce and it reverses, you get out, it didn't work. Oh well. Right? You have a little bit of time on your hands. Or it goes to two ten and the play works. Because again, if this floor, which just a reminder, this floor has been supporting us in one way or another, you know, basically <laughs> all of October. All of October has been held up on this floor. So underneath 215, what's under you? And it's the same thing here. You fall fast, right? And as we go to the 24 hour, you get a big pop up. This next candle here stutters. And then you finally touch wicks. You go sideways, you see empty space, and you pop through, right? Now moving to the downside, you're gonna go faster. Empty space, floor lost, almost in one day. Yatso. You have just a couple of minutes if you want to take your <laughs> Discord's wildin'. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my Discord is wildin'. Um <clears throat> so yeah, I mean I hope that hopefully that explains why, you know, we have empty space underneath us. This is why I will stretch my hands into outside strikes. And this time I'm putting some time on it. Because we're right here, guys. We're right here. And I mean, it, it is where, and, and we have a couple of minutes here. If you wanted to take a shorter expiration strike for maybe the day after, we'll do this now. Come at the day after the election or? Yeah, like take a shorter expiration strike because I'm, you know, 14, 10 days out. So if you want to go and say, what is it? The, the fourth? What is the election? I forgot. Uh, hold on, I got it right here. It's the, the fifth. It's the fifth. fifth. It's the fifth. It's the fifth. It's the fifth. Oh, it's the so, fifth. so I can do the six. It. Yeah, I could do the six, and I could play. I could grab something to the upside. What's the worst case scenario for IWM? We break right here, you little bastard. We Still break here, yeah, right, and we're bouncing off of this cost basis. And this is our last, I'm, t I'm saying this definitively. This is not my opinion. This is everything I teach everybody, right? This is the last, last straw, right? The only alternative being you tap that fucking red wick right there and pull your shit back up. And that's a tall order as well. And if that happens, squeeze a rama. Right, and at the moment, our overhead ceiling that we could use to go long, because of, at this point, if two twenty two seventy five breaks, yeah, we're probably going back up. So, worst case scenario here, to, I would say in the two thirties, right? So, I could buy less. Worst case, worst case you get stuck in the box for a while. That's the worst case scenario. Yeah. Look at it. I mean, like, look at early October, for example. Mm hmm. And I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's, it, if you look at right here uh, in May, you know, we build, I, I think you had enough structure under, right? And like above, you get smashed in between the two. Yeah. That's where I'm like, uh uh. But we don't look like that yet, right? And if, no, no. Yeah. We, we still have room. We're not smashed. Uh, but underneath that, man, and we're right there. So, what? Cold blood trades? What are you talking about, dude? All right, cold blood. Cold. Hey, on that IWM, uh, the November tenth. What? You get in at about a dollar fifty or so. Yeah. Um. You've got so the two two tens were around one fifty five. 156 uh they're at 159 163 um little little spread on those um but you also have the 200s which are in the 30s or 40s so um those would we would we would have to break that we would have to see a substantial leg down um again tall order and just a reminder because i had it's been a minute since i said it this is all speculative you can and if you are in a small account should have a little bit of delayed gratification and wait we are bouncing right now right we are held underneath 
219. This is a take it below cost basis, take it below 215, take it below the fucking wick, and you're still going to make a bag. But you got to be, that's the difference, right? So a big account might be able to speculate here, a small account has to wait for that floor to be definitively lost. So. Dude, stop spoiling the future price action. Uh, you can go to our website. So what happens if you get a sign, but you don't have cash to buy? Uh, you're in debt. <laughs> um, so most brokers will uh, get rid of those contracts for you. They're so. going to seize your property and come after that. <laughs> Everything's ruined. If it's bad, I mean, if you had like a hundred shares of Tesla get assigned, or you know, like you know, that's a that's a chunk of change right there. <laughs> Owie. Yeah, workshop. So, all right. The sixth. Two thirty fives, two thirty three, two. To any of these strikes would be fine. Cool. Cool. All right. I went long. Uh, I did not get filled on iRobot, by the way, y'all. I hope you guys did. Sorry. I did not. Thank God, neither did I, because I was like, I'm not filling these for 15 cents. Marina, I went that. long just for you. Oh. I was like, it's either 10 cents or not. Also, this video, I got it down to three minutes. Fuck yeah. You sent me that mashup, right? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, that's right. I'm tripping. I'm about to post that. That's I'm cool. about to post that. Um, I can send you Bye. the latest version I have just to make sure if you want, because it's been a, a second. Are you guys doing your Sunday charting too or no? Yeah. Yeah. What we do with that time change on Sunday, FYI, so it an extra hour. Sleep. We're we going forward or backwards? We're going backwards. Can't tell me what to do. All back, spring forward. Interesting, Coors. It's uh, having a sure. hard time grinding itself up, man. Buying is uh, the interest in buying is getting low. Huh? All right. Um, cool. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. That's about it. Sunday or uh, YouTube people see you.